What's up y'all? Thanks for tuning into my channel. So this is a bonus read for Scorpio. So you guys get a bonus read because you guys were the number one viewers that I had. So it was you, Sag, and Aquarius. So yay! Congratulations! So we're gonna see what spirit has to say to you guys, what spirit wants me to relay to y'all. And yeah, we're gonna get into that. So if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button so you know when I post your readings. Um, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Um, I usually do, on Instagram, I usually do um, like once or twice a week. I'll do a meditation, so if you feel like you will benefit from those meditations, follow me. Follow me on my Insta. You know what I'm saying? And um, on Twitter, I usually post, like, when I post your readings or, like, who got the bonus reading. So, yeah. Yeah, this is for Scorpio if I haven't said this already. So you can apply this to whatever you have Scorpio in your chart. Okay. First card, we have the Four of Chalices. Master of Flames. Indigo. Nine of Chalices. Three of Orbs, Two of Orbs, The Lovers, very interesting, Nine of Flames, and the Addict of Flames. I think, I think. <sighs> okay, so first three cards. You got the Four of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Magician. I feel like you guys are manifesting something. Or you guys are manifesting something or waiting for something to manifest. Some of you guys might be getting a little bored um, from waiting for this manifestation, but at the same time, you guys know that whatever is coming towards you, it's gonna be big. It's gonna be something something that you've been wanting for a while I want to say that it's something that you didn't know that you could attain I need to hold my selenite guys I need to hold my selenite but yeah I feel like you guys are manifesting something that you didn't know you could attain this is t this is gonna um take some type of maturity. This is gonna call you guys to be mature. Whatever it is, like you have to be mature with it. Oh, 
ended up. You've manifested something. It's like here. If you don't see it, like it's around, you know, like that energy is there for you. Yeah, you've been like praying to the universe for this. And I feel like the universe has been waiting for you to become a bit more mature in order for you to be able to manifest what it is that you have been wanting. Whatever that is to you. It could be love, it could be career, it could be money, it could be anything. But it's like you had to grow up a little bit in order to manifest this okay so you have a nine of cups the three of swords and the two of swords so i see opposing factors that hmm. okay so <sighs> yes you see your worth right that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing that you see your worth i'm seeing that you're happy like you find happiness within um, because of sadness. It's like you learned how to find happiness within from going through some type of sadness. Or some of you guys feel like you're better off by yourself or better off doing things by yourself because you don't want to deal with like sadness and disappointment so it's like there's an opportunity here for you to i feel like there's an opportunity here to like maybe work with someone else or like be with somebody but it's like you're like um i don't know like I've been through this and I actually really love my energy. So I was like, eh. Or like, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like, I just feel like you guys are enjoying yourselves, enjoying your energy. Um, like there's something in the back of your minds or something that you guys have been through that just like, sometimes it replays in your mind and it's like you don't want to go back to that you want to stay in a good place so whatever it is that's coming and for a lot of you guys i see that it's love right it's either love or like something it's because okay so you guys got the lovers the nine of wands and the knight of wands so you guys have a lot of fire energy in this reading you have a good amount of fire energy. So, yeah. I definitely feel some resistance. Because I feel like you guys manifested someone or something that you really love, right? That you actually really have feelings for. Um, this person is young. This person is, like, young or has a young spirit. Um, or they're very youthful, they're very youthful, um, and they, like, they move pretty quickly. This energy is quick, this, this energy moves fast, and it's like, some of you guys are like, hold on, like, you're kind of pumping the brakes a little bit, you know what I'm saying, you're kind of pumping the brakes, you're like, hold up, like, you're thinking about this three of swords, you're like, ah, I've been through this before. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if this is what I want to go into because I enjoy myself right now. I'm really enjoying myself right now. I'm enjoying my energy. I'm enjoying, you know, fulfilling my cups or pouring into my own cups. So it's like you guys are a little bit guarded. That's what I'm getting. Um, but I don't think that you guys need to be guarded i don't see any negative 
energy here. It's just like what's replaying in your mind um, is what might be holding some of you guys back from this person or this thing that you manifested. So don't hold yourselves back because this energy is coming quickly. Like, and you, like the universe, like watched you mature. And the universe was like, okay, you know what? I'm presenting you this gem. You earned it. You earned it. You earned this. So there's really no need to be put off by this person because for a lot of you guys, this is a good opportunity. This is a great opportunity. Um, this could be the one for you guys. You know what I'm saying? So let's see some advice cards. Let me shuffle it up and see what's up. Let's see what the universe wants to tell you. What kind of advice the universe wants to tell you? Okay, see Beacon Fairy Guidance, but where will it lead you? Po, time for change, to learn something new, to use technology and gadgets with wisdom. And the three fates, what comes around? All right. That's awesome, it came out in numerical order so see beacon fairy okay so a perfect solution to a problem has been presented to you but whether it's wise to take it is another thing altogether you may have more resources and opportunities than you're aware of or than you're allowing yourself to believe in do not be too quick to follow the first opportunity that comes. Wait and check both your sources and your inner wisdom. There are many paths and many solutions. Not all advice will be right for you. Okay, so if this is, if if you know deep down inside that this is for you, go for it. But if not, don't. You know what I'm saying? Just follow the signs. That's all I have to say. Follow the signs. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that I'm saying everything that's happening for you. You know what's happening for you. Yeah? I'm just a messenger. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so Poe, time for change to learn something new, to use technology and gadgets with wisdom. Card number seven. We're moving into an industrial world, or uh, from, from an industrial world to a post-industrial world, where the nature of time, the way in which we interact with nature, and the way we live with technology have created, we have created will shape us all. So today, think of what your relationship with technology is. Is it sacred? Are, you, are there sacred purposes to which this new tool can be put? If you feel intimidated by technology, choose one area about which you would like to learn. You may wish to be more disciplined about your time spent online. And you may notice you have a talent for technology, for developing communication tools that link people and help us all the that help us all develop communities for the highest good of all. You may soon become very adept at setting up websites or find you love dabbling in web design, writing software, creating digital art, or posting movies you've made. You may wish to upload performances on the internet or introduce a wider audience to your skills and talents. You may also notice how people today have come to use the internet as a weapon to bully and harm others and choose to never use technology in this way. 
You may have a gift for concept development and have brilliant ideas for new technologies for the future. Whatever it is, is the right time to truly work with technology in ways that will assist not only you, but many other beings too. Okay? Guys, I'm sorry if you hear some noise in the background. But yeah, it's just for that I'm saying like, I'm seeing that this is an opportunity for you guys to work with the internet, work with technology. This could, um, this could be like a situation where you might have to put yourself out there in that type of way. But yeah, okay, so you guys got the three fates, what comes around. Card number 26 comes down to number eight. Such beautiful cards, bro. Okay, you've been enjoying your, your own life's reruns lately, wallowing through the memories and feeling sad, bittersweet, and nostalgic about the good old days, whenever they were exactly. You know what? It's fine to muse on the past. Your memories are precious and do need to be tended. But it's another thing altogether to be filled with regret, wishing you'd done things differently. Life is a constant do-over. You get a fresh chance every second you're alive, so stop beating yourself up. You have an opportunity to heal, to clear, to no longer feel sad about the same thing anymore. You can do things differently. You're not a prisoner of how they have always been done. <laughs> What you have done, even if you judge it to be a mistake, can be reworked and learned from. That is its wisdom. You're not alone. We all have karmic lessons, themes, stories that seem to repeat. Learn from this. Be aware of what's taking place as a faithful encounter to master life. If you take this approach, you'll be richer for learning, wise, free, and, and able to help others too. Wow. Cord cutting. You're cutting cords. So this is what I'm seeing as well, right? You guys need to cut the cords from to, for, of the past. These things that keep like running around in your mind, this sadness that you keep like sometimes you replayed in your mind that's kind of making you, you know, a little bit standoffish from this opportunity. That was just an opportunity to learn. You know what I'm saying? Now you can heal. And whoever this is, like, you you guys are going to be healing together. Or this is going to be a healing opportunity for you. Like, if it's a relationship, like, you guys are going to realign each other's chakras. That's what I see. For real. Regardless, y'all chakras will be aligning with or without a partner. But those that will be getting a partner... Like, y'all's chakras will be aligning, okay? 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 Like, that's pretty lit. <laughs> I'm excited for y'all. Because <laughs> you know what that means. Do you see how these people are intertwined? Do you see how they're intertwined? I have nothing else to say. I have nothing else to say. I love you guys. And I will talk to you.